Hello everyone, welcome back to another review on the channel. Today, we are going to be going back again to 2017 to review a car from that era. And it is Todd Marcus, the Cross 3 Racer. Oops, sorry for moving the camera. So anyway, let's get on to his appearance. Todd obviously appeared in Cross 3 as the North Star Racer. However, he also appeared, he was also the North Star Racer for Cars 1. So he's been racing for like basically 11 years, which... It's a little unrealistic, but I mean, in my opinion, I think it's more realistic for him to still be racing because if you compare him to his Cars 1 counterpart, who I unfortunately do not have, their models are relatively similar. Whereas if you take cars like more a Clutch Burn or Floyd Movia, those models are extremely different. So those are a little unrealistic, but him, I do think it's a little more realistic. And then he gets replaced by the next gen Jonas Carvers, who I also do not have, but he's just being released across the US, so hopefully you get him soon and review him. So I really want to compare because I really want to compare him to this variant of Todd. So on to his release now. So Todd was originally released in 2017 in a pack called Desert Waste 11 pack, where he was one of the first first looks, along with the Revenger Racer and Rusty's Racing Center Lightning McQueen. Now, Rusty's Racing Center McQueen was later released as a single in 2017, 2018, and 2019. So he wasn't really hard to find, but him and Revan Go Racer did stay exclusive to the pack until in 2018 and 2020, where in 2018 he got released from. He got released in another level pack, with the first look being made with Lightning Bolt, which also coincidentally has had other first looks, such as Tux and Diego Sino. Jimmy Cables, J.A. McPillar, and a couple more cars. And then in 2020, he was later re-released from in another 11 pack, which basically had no first looks. It has a, it has a Richie Gunzit, that's not Thailand. But that pack is Vietnam. Now, the two versions of Todd I... The two versions of Todd that were released before, and the one that I have here, is China. However, that version is Vietnam. So, it is slightly different. So... Yeah, not that much release, and I'm sorry for the noise, the long war is literally going off, so, so sorry about the noise, guys, but hopefully that doesn't affect the video. But, yeah, that's it for his releases. Now, let's get on to his review. As you can see, you can see the No Star logo, which has a little bit more of a shadow beneath it. It wasn't flat like the Cars 1 Todd Marcus, and... You can actually see a checkerboard design like right behind it. It's very faded, so it's kind of hard to see, but you can't see it. It's really, really awesome. There's his expression. Very determined. I do like this expression a lot more. Expression more than the happy happy expressions that the stock cars normally have. Because it looks really nice. Then you can see his headlights. One, one, two, his number 123 below the left he headlight. Square, which is basically a mustache. And now before we go on to the side, I do want to say that this color is a little different than this one. Maybe it's just because of the flag, but it is, does look a little different. On the side here, he has light ear on the fenders, and he has light ear, and he has blue light ear tires with a white trim. Now, in the movie, he's actually not supposed to have that trim. I don't know why they put that on there, but it actually looks pretty cool. His contingency sponsors all of the Pistol Cup Violin Revolting RPM Nitrate or taking a clutch aid. They are very, very clear. Cough, cough, Thailand. Please take some notes. We have the number, we have the number one, two, three. And what I like about them is that they literally put every single color of the rainbow on here. Like you have red here. You can see a little bit of green, blue, red, and bla black, brown here. You can see you see the checkered flag like on the blue part, which looks very, very phenomenal. I barely even saw it the first time I got him, but now I just see him. He looks really, really nice with all those colors. And like some, I gotta say, sometimes when they put too much colors on like one car, they doesn't work. It doesn't work too well. But I think for Todd, they nailed it honestly. That arrow, he was able to indicate that the picker would lift the mount pad to change the tires, exhaust pipes, no stall on the sides. Up top, we have one twenty three with a blue rooftop, and the uh, blue. And the holders, we have the roof laps, these window bars, no stall on the, like, underneath the spoiler, which is nice. I mean, pretty much all the stock cars, except for McQueen, has that. 
ha ha puts the sponsor name under the logo, but not McQueen because if you look here, I have the Fireball Beach version ahead. See, look how big his spoiler is in comparison to Todd. So, yeah, you can put you can put the Westies text on his spoiler because it's really big. But for Todd, not so much. And that goes with all the other Pistol Cup Wazers, including Jake Hicks and the King as well. You can see more of that checkerboard flag in the background. On the back, we have no stall. We have the headlight, no taillights. The black camera that gets some cool shots for racing. 120 speed below the white taillight. This blue part of it. And unfortunately, these holders here, they're on a painted silver. Which I don't think they were on other stock cars. Let me check Dirksen really quickly. So Dirksen did a painted silver. Does Cal have it? Yeah, for Cal, they have it silver. That's the obvious, super cool, the obvious one. I get the Fireball Beach version. Yeah, they have painted silver, so I don't know why they left Todd out. I mean, maybe they forgot to do it, which kind of sucks, but oh well. You have this red band underneath the blue part, and that's pretty much it. This side, this side is exactly the same. And here's the base if you're interested. Now, this is a made in China release, so you can see that date stamp, which I don't know how to read those. Mattel. There's a Pixar code, code. And yeah, that's pretty much it for Todd. He's one of my favorite races in Cars 3. Actually, he's my third favorite stock car. So, yeah, that's how cool he really is. Now, before we go out, I do want to compare him to the other cars. Here he is, Carl Weathers, who does share the same model as him. Now, he has a different expression. He's looking, like, more, um, happy. And Todd's, like, determined to win, basically. You can see the blue rims, the these ones are blue are different, there's more of a light blue, there's a darker blue. You can see how No Star, how similar No Star and Dynaco are printed, they're just spelled out, like, no, like, no, no dinosaur, none of that, for Cal, and I don't think there's really anything for Todd here. Cal, what is that? This is the variant of Cal with the roof, it might a little damage, but I also got it in an 11 pack with Todd, and they made it with lightning bolt packs, so it's really cool. That was funny, like, all the models that, all the races that have Cal's model, except for Cal himself, would, were all races from Cars 1, so, example, he, he was Dirksen, yeah, he was another Cars 1 race, though, the main of the Cars 3, so, it's pretty awesome. Again, he also has a different expression, which is even different than Cal's, as you can see. Yeah, it's way different from Cal's, it's more of the Bobby Swift expression, or the Brick Yardley eye pl position. Actually, it's more of the Bobby Swift one, which it's okay. I just I don't like this expression. I like this one more. These are it's also stock cars, so I actually determined to win. But I guess I'm trying to appeal the kids with the happy expression. I really love Duxon too. He's one of my favorites as well. Duxon from Cars Three at least. He's a really nice racer. Nice. And now here is Ralph Carlo. So. He has a very, very similar eye expression, although as you can see, his 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 eyebrows like dips down more, way more than Todd's. Oh, and I forgot to mention that Todd does have a black outline on his windshield, whereas the other ones do not. So, I mean, I guess it makes him different. He does have the same smile, but... And the eyes are similar, yet slightly different at the same time. His dips down a lot more, so... I mean, at least they changed it. I mean, I just wish they could have made his mouth open, though. Well, that's another nice one as well. He was actually the first Cal Weathers model, besides Cal himself, that I got. And then Todd and Dirksen slowly followed. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this review. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more upcoming content. See you all next time. Until then, this is Carl Clutchin, signing out.